Lieutenant Dan here with another Falcons film breakdown. And today we're going to be breaking down Grady Jarrett and Jack Crawford's sacks against the Washington Redskins and kind of giving you a, a an idea of how these things occurred. And I, I have to say it. I have to say it now. Keep Grady Jarrett at three tech. Keep Grady Jarrett at the four eye. Keep Grady Jarrett at two tech. Why? Why is Grady Jarrett so dominant against guards? Because his entire time with the Atlanta Falcons has been at nose tackle against big, strong centers. And now he's moving over to guards who are not ready for that kind of dominant play, that dominant power play, and that dominant uh, skill that he has using his hands with counter moves, rips, swim moves, punching in the face. Grady Jarrett's the whole package. And I can't wait for Falcons fans to see him get paid. Let's see him here uh, in the middle of your screen. You're going to see Grady Jarrett right over the guard or slightly off to his outside shoulder. Uh, so he is playing three tech in this position. And just watch Grady Jarrett here as he gets that extension up near the shoulder pads, near that uh, near that set of armpits there. You want to get that, that control there. So that when a guard puts his hands out, tries to get hands on you, his hands are awkward and, and, and don't have the proper grip to be able to push you out. Whoever wins that initial battle of getting your hands near that armpit and shoulder pad area to, to lift up and push backwards usually dominates the fight on the line. And Grady Jarrett does a great job of doing that here. And then boom, gets right into the backfield. Great coverage, by the way by the Falcons. Let's watch the coverage here just for a second and and realize uh, that right about here where Grady Jarrett has almost collapsed the pocket, everything is covered properly outside of the fact that maybe number 10 down at the bottom of your screen here maybe has a shot. But by the time that Alex Smith is looking there to go throw the ball in that direction, uh, the Falcons have already collapsed the pocket and Grady Jarrett gets this sack. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. And here we see it from the other angle. Again, Grady Jarrett right in the middle of your screen, playing that three tech off of the outside shoulder of the guard. And just watch this power that Grady Jarrett is able to generate. Boom, right up in that shoulder, shoulder pad, armpit area. I'm telling you, that's the most effective place to go put your hands. You put your hands right in the chest and a guard, any good well-trained guard is going to swipe those hands away um, you put your, your hands too high, you put them up on the shoulders, not shoulder pad area, but up in the shoulders, up at the top, near near the neck, and that's a that's a that's a no-no. That's a no-go zone. Because then a guard puts his hands right up under yours and then drives you side to side. You don't want that to happen. So Grady Jerry here, great hand placement, and then boom, gets that sack. Watch it one more time in silence because I talk too much. Beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. So when I initially looked at this play and I know that there was one other sack for Jack Crawford when he pushed Alex Smith out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage, but I wanted to cover this one because look at Jack Crawford here in the middle of the line. He is playing what you would consider three tech. And when I, again, when I initially looked at this play, I said, wow, um, you know, Jack, Jack waits for his opportunity. The pocket collapses another way, and then he flips inside and gets this sack. But when I really looked at it, I looked at who was collapsing the pocket, and I said, oh, look, it's McLean. McLean's actually collapsing the pocket. But look at Jack Crawford here and what he's going to do and how he's going to do it. He's going to throw a spin move into this. Whew, spin move. The pocket is going to stay stable. And uh, Tack and Vic are going to begin to uh, hold the corners. McLean then collapses the pocket. And the pocket is now gone. All Alex Smith has to do is step up and look at any of the dudes beginning to open up on the tree. You got both underneath routes are fine. And you've got something over the middle that actually Neesman is is watching. But you could dart that in there. And Alex Smith, I don't know why, but he's just, he's not 
releasing this ball. He's not. He's staring down his wide receiver. Is what is what it is. And because of McLean collapsing the pocket and getting a hand on Alex Smith here, you're gonna see Jack Crawford come right around and get this sack. It's a cleanup sack. Uh, it's still beautiful. It's a, it's a good sack. But look at it from here. There's uh, there's McLean. He's gonna step over. Look at that. Actually, and 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 to that to the detriment of my own speaking, he's playing three tech. So you've got two three techs on the field here, and both three techs are gonna come in here. And then McLean's gonna go inside. So is Crawford. But McLean driving his guy to the inside actually collapses this pocket. And look, McLean's getting his arm out and almost sacks Alex Smith himself. Let's look at it again. Um, just inside power move. This guard has been struggling against inside power move most of the game. And then Jack Crawford comes around and, and cleans this up. It's a good sack. It's, I mean, all sacks are good sacks. But but this is just, everybody was saying that McLean hasn't done anything. And once you once you look at the tape, you just see that if, if something's working, start putting other players that have the same power um, at that at that position and see if you can get something kind of kind of generated through that and Crawford has always been a kind of guy that's always looking into the backfield you see his eyes are always in the backfield and he gets this sack it's a great sack so now is the part of the video that I go into a little bit of a talking point about this defensive line and I'm gonna be short and sweet and to the point that the additions that Dan Quinn has been able to add to this uh, defensive line and to this team as a whole to uh, run block pass rush and affect the quarterback by pressure hit and hurry have been very very well planned out and ac and according to Dan Quinn and, and to Thomas Dimitrov this has been the most athletically gifted defensive line they've had um, in in a very very long time that I think is a telling part of the reason why you're starting to see this defense begin to kind of light up. You're seeing some sacks from the interior. You're seeing some sacks from Tack McKinley. You're seeing um, more play out of Vic Beasley Jr., which a lot of people are in some cases upset about and other cases are not. If you're listening to this, Vic, <laughs> I believe in you. I believe in every single Falcons player on there. McLean, Brooks Reed, Derek Shelby, Dedrick Snott, Grady Jarrett, uh, Jack Crawford, Tack McKinley, and yourself, Vic. I truly believe that everything that you guys are doing right now, even with the addition of Bruce Irvin now, everything that you guys are doing right now is all going to get better and better as the season goes on. We all know that. We all know that for every team. So keeping it short and keeping it to the point, this defensive line is incredibly talented and it will continue to be more dominant and scarier as things go on We've got a game against the Browns it's gonna be fun to watch there's gonna be snow and I cannot wait to break that down for you guys it's gonna be so much fun I, I can't wait it's I'm, I'm just ecstatic <laughs> to, to be able to do it but my name's Lieutenant Dan this was a Falcons film breakdown sack video versus the Washington Redskins and you can check out all my social media uh, platforms down in the links in the description of this video not only my Twitter my Instagram my YouTube channel, uh, but also the Facebook uh, and the new website, as well as some other members of the Falcons community that I have wanted to promote on their Instagrams, their websites, and their Twitters. So definitely go check out those links as well. And you could also go check out our gaming area uh, where we do things on twitch.tv slash unintentional grounding. And go play video games and be real life with you guys and even play some video games with some of the grounders uh which i i genuinely have very uh, a lot of fun with so um my name is lieutenant dan this was a falcons film breakdown you guys rise up and stay grounded have a wonderful rest of your day hit that sub button hit that like button hit that notification bell uh to be notified of all the new ty new types of content coming from my channel peace hair grease ride. Right.